All right, folks, I'm so excited. Well, I told you I have this guest coming in. I told you about her, but by the way, uh, she's a Ghanaian American singer. Her mother's Ghanaian, father's American. Beautiful singer and performer. And she actually performed, I don't know if you heard about the Dream Girls. Dream Girls was one of the greatest hits on Broadway in New York. And she had a chance to perform uh, Dream Girls, but at the great Apollo Theater. Put your hands together, welcome Anna Hoffman. <laughs> there we go. There, there, there. Have a seat and welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. <laughs> Your pleasure. I know about Dream Girls. Yes. I've seen Dream Girls, and you were actually in Dream Girls? I was. At the Apollo Theater? The Apollo Theater. How did that happen? Did you. It's a crazy story because I was actually still in school. I was attending university, getting my Bachelor of Fine Arts, and I was performing at a local theater, working for free, basically, mm -hmm. and juggling my schedule between school and commuting back and forth to do this show. And the, the director of the theater told me about this production I should audition for in New York. Hmm. I didn't think anything Where of it. Where was your school? My school was in Texas, actually. Oh, wow. Yes. So I didn't think much of it, but I had a resume. I had a headshot. So I, I sent my stuff to the casting director, and they actually called me back. And they asked me if I could um, fly out to New York. It was like a Thursday. The audition was on Saturday. And I said, can I call my mom? <laughs> <laughs> I need to call my mom because I couldn't even afford a ticket. Um, but it, it all worked out. I flew wow. out to New York. And so you flew to New York for the audition? I did, and they kept calling me back, and before I knew it, I was packing my bags, and I was moving to the Big Apple. Wow. <laughs> wow. And that was it. The rest was history. I can imagine how exciting that was. Yeah. Wow. And, 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 and so how long was the run? Oh, the run was about a year. Yes. What happened is we opened at the Apollo Theater, and then we toured all over the U.S., and we went as far out as Japan. So I got to see America perform in all of the finest uh, theater houses in the country. It was, it was exciting. Before then, were you always into theater? I didn't start theater till university, and it was when I uh, took a chemistry class, I realized I don't like science. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I had to do something about it quick. <laughs> I joined the choir, and as it turned out, choir ended up paying for my education. So... Um, I was singing, I was getting scholarship money to pay for school, and then I was introduced to theater through choir. Wow, yeah. wow, wow. <laughs> um, um, who does sing in your family? Your mother sings or That's dad? That's a good question, you know, because um, I was raised in the U.S., and my mother's family all lives in Ghana, and I didn't get a chance to grow up with them. So here I am singing and not knowing where this gift came from because nobody in my father's family sings. Mm. I just found out that my mother's mother... Um, who is Ghanaian, is a singer. Oh, really? Yes, she would sing for her choir. <laughs> so that's really special to me mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it links me back to home, which is Ghana. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's where the music comes from. I see, I see. I saw you in a performance um, mm -hmm. uh, yes. celebrating the city, old city of Accra, some performance. Yes, yes. And you, you actually sang uh, Ebe Ebe Tatari. <laughs> was it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So did you have to learn to sing it or you knew? Do you, do you speak tree or ga or something? No. Every time I try to speak, even my grandmother, she laughs at me. Yeah. So uh, it was my first time singing these songs by Iti e. Mensa. Yeah. And some of them were in Ga. Yeah. Um, and I, I realized perhaps the best way for me to learn the language is through the music, mm. which is natural for me. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't speak yet, but I sing. I can <laughs> sing in Ga. Inkebo baya, inkebo baya, inkebo baya, da da. Yes. Shut up. Well, this is the thing, you know, when I heard you singing, and that was the first time I'd seen you, I just said, oh, okay, yes, yes. Guy who's probably living in America all her life, you know, but she's slanging. But she knows the language. I didn't know it was just for singing. Yes, it's just for singing, but for now. For now. It's to for be now. continued. <laughs> what else do you sing in uh, Ga? Uh, so, Inkebo Baya, Tatale, Konkonsa. Konkonsa, Bomyo, Bomyo, Merenkanshi. Konkonsa, Bomyo, Bomyo, Merenkanshi. Konkonsa. I'm learning. Wow, you're learning, you're learning, you're learning. Yes. How, how, how difficult was it to learn? Um, you know, how long did it take you to, 
to get all these words right and yeah. You know, I was very lucky because I got to perform with Ghana's National Symphony Orchestra, yeah. which yeah. I didn't even know we had. Um, they had already known the music, so um, it was, that was a real big help for me. And the musicians there, they taught me some of the words that I wasn't saying correct, mm -hmm. but I always start with the melody. Mm. Once you have the melody, then mm. that's the foundation. Mm. And uh, as a singer, we learned something called the International Phonetic Alphabet, mm. IPA. Mm. And it's a series of like symbols, so it can help you translate songs in different languages. And that's how singers can sing in Italian or Spanish okay. or Ga. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Even if they're not, if that's not their native tongue, they mm -hmm. can still learn mm -hmm. how to sing. Mm -hmm. So Anna, have you moved to Ghana? I've, I'm here. I'm home. You're home. I'm home. Yes. Oh wow! Yes, this and is And well, I, I saw you at the Jamestown thing, and you've been performing. What, 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 what have you done? You actually saw me uh, performing for the first time. Yeah. In Accra, I'm actually going to be performing now at Santoku. Okay. Which is just across from Accra Mall. Yeah, that's at the Villaggio. Uh, yes. You're performing there. I am. So I hope to see you. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm so happy. I'm so honored. <laughs> I'll be there. Then you, and, can uh, come, you can come to my show. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I, I was at your show first, you know. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah, true. I you remember your my, shoes. Your, my shoes? You, have, you can dress. Pa, pa, pa. Wow. Really? Yes. Tell me some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can dress. <laughs> So what is, what is exciting you about Ghana? You have now moved to, to settle? Mm -hmm, I but have, yes. What is exciting about Ghana? The food. The food? Yes. What's your favorite? Oh, fufu. Fufu? And lice too. <laughs> With what meat? I like fish. Fish? But it has to be uh, fish from the Volta Lake. I'm from the Vol I'm half Ewe. Oh, you're half so, Ewe. You know. Okay, okay. I, I like my tilapia light soup. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. My and and looking at the scene in Ghana, uh -huh. entertainment, mm -hmm. and you coming. So what, what's what's your what's your genre? Is it j you're a jazz singer? I'm or? starting off with jazz because I I love jazz. It's something that's very natural for me. But I love to dance as well. I love um, I can sing classically. So it's going to be interesting to see how what the jazz evolves mm -hmm, into. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, stay mm -hmm. tuned. So you have um, uh, a group that you play with, like uh, a Santuku, you have your pianist and every, you have a, a selected group already? I do and it, they rotate. Right okay. now I'm working with a brilliant pianist and um, he plays upright bass as well. I have a saxophonist and someone who plays percussion. Um, so I, I'm leaving things very open. Actually when I started I said I just wanted to sing with me and the piano and grow from there because you never know what, what can mm -hmm. happen and what's... Mm -hmm what's mm -hmm. gonna come next, so mm -hmm. I'm leaving it open. But mm -hmm. for now, we're staying in jazz. Okay, yeah. so now it's staying in the jazz zone. Yes, yes. Are you doing any uh, guard tunes in jazz? What, what, what kind of jazz are you doing? Uh, what kind of jazz? I'm starting off with standards. Okay. I'm adding in a few pop songs, um, but I'm, I'm sticking to the basics, and then I'm going from there. But I would love to explore uh, singing more of the Ghanaian folk songs mm. in mm. Ewe, Ga, Chi. Mm. So I'm mm. very excited about that actually because this is home for me. So it only makes sense that. Mm -hmm. So you have a manager or a publicist who's putting you out there? Me. You? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I yeah. have friends. I always say your network is your net worth. Yeah. You, know? you never know who knows who knows who. Uh, but I don't have a manager yet. Not yet? So. Not are yet. you taking applications? I am, yes. You are? I am. <laughs> <laughs> so all these managers out there. You know, but it's, it's, it's how do you, um, entertainment, the music and everything, mm -hmm. uh, what have you observed so far and where do you think you have an age that you can, you can jump into the midst of it and mm -hmm. really stamp your authority? Yes. I, I sing from my heart. It okay. comes from my soul. It's something that just is. I tried to run away from it. I tried to do science, I tried to get into business, I've, okay. I've done all kinds of things and honestly music is who I am mm. and that's the best, the best thing I can put forward is mm. myself mm. and to be authentic. Mm. So mm. I, I like to let the music speak for itself mm. and when you he see me and you hear me I, I feel that you'll understand why I'm doing, why I'm doing and yeah. why I have to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Family-wise, uh, you so your dad is American? My dad's American. And he is? And it's so interesting how we met my mother because my mother's family is actually from a very small village called Bodada. It's uh, 
close to the mountains of Togo, actually. Mm. Uh, but my dad joined the Peace Corps after university. He was in his 20s, and oh. they shipped him out to Borada. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and he was teaching English in the village school where my mom was teaching... Um, I'm sorry, he was teaching math, and my mom was teaching English. Mm. And uh, he met my mom, and he fell in love, and then I was born. But <laughs> I'm a testimony <laughs> of <laughs> diversity and the Peace Corps. Yeah. But well, I, so he's a Peace Corps guy. Uh, yeah, I am. Okay. I am, yeah. But you know, it's funny because my father fell in love with Ghana and the people here, and the fact that they embraced him, mm. they showed him love, and this country is so peaceful. I'm also a testimony to that because if it wasn't for the way that Ghana, you know, took him in as their own, I, I wouldn't mm, be here. Mm, so. mm. Where is he now? He's back in Texas. He's oh. in the U.S. Oh, he's in Texas yes, now? Yes, he is. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. What does he do? Or is he's a pharmacist. My oh. mom and my dad are both pharmacists. Oh, I see. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. Are they still together? They're not together. They're not no, together. No, 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 yeah. No. But no. I guess I'm... I'm the product of, yeah, the product. of yeah. them both. So in a way, they are still together through me. <laughs> Siblings? I have a younger brother who plays baseball in the U.S. Oh, I see. Yeah, so you can look out for him too. He plays baseball. He does, yes. Wow. He was actually um, just drafted by the Detroit Tigers for the minor That's league. That's big. It's big, so we're rooting for him. And he actually inspired me because, you know, this is a, it's very unconventional to play sports or to be a musician. A lot of people, they grow up, they want to be a doctor or a lawyer, and that's beautiful. But um, through my brother's success and him sticking to what he loves to do, I realized I also have to follow my own path. Fantastic, yeah. fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Um, so you're in Ghana now, and um, what does the scene look like? Are you, are you married? I'm not married, no. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're happy together, I don't know why. <laughs> do you know what I say? I say music is my lover. Music is your lover? Music is my lover, yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Chances are like, uh, you're going to move from music and, well, not move from music, but add somebody else to the music? Yes, when the time is right, if the and person is right. I'm looking, if you know anyone. <laughs> <laughs> she's looking, guys, she's looking. <laughs> I, you know, I wonder, if, if, will the music lead me to Mr. Right? I, yeah. Sometimes Who, I'm saying, who's your Mr. Right? What would they look like? What would they be like? Uh, Mr. Wright is the person who's going to treat me like a lady, who's going to love me and support me. Um, that's important to me. Yeah? Yes. Any guys out there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But that's great. <laughs> so, um, down the line, mm -hmm. so you're now going to establish in Ghana. Are you planning, like, Having a music school tutor or something, what, what's, what's down the line for you? In Anything Ghana? can happen. I would really love to get the opportunity to give back to my village. Mm, because mm. Have you been there? I haven't been there since I came here, okay. but I'm dying to get there. Really? My mom keeps on telling me how bad the road is. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like everywhere else. I'm going to need a big, <laughs> a big truck to get there, but I, I'm going to get there yeah. because I, I can't leave the children behind there. So if there's anything that I do while I'm here, it's, it's going to be to give back to the children. If it can mm. be through music, mm. that'd be mm. wonderful. Mm. But it's, mm. it's on my list. I think that's my, actually my first to do while I'm mm. here, is to mm. give mm. back to my people. Okay. Yes. okay. <laughs> Say some love one more time. Oh, so good to have you here, you Thank know. You. Um, I saw you at the performance and I, s I heard you sing Ebi Ebi Tatali and I said, okay, she has to be on my show. And you're here today and uh, it's really, really good having you. Um, Thank you. Uh, and we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Yeah? Yes. Um, thank you so much. It's been absolutely fantastic. Now, in case somebody is watching, they want to get in touch with you to play their club, anything, is there, how, how can they contact you? So you can reach me at my Facebook fan page, at Discover Anna. And for any business inquiries, you can send me an email, discoverana at gmail.com. So it's on your screen right now. If you want to get in touch with her, this is a page on Facebook that you can get in touch with. So please do and get her. She's fantastic. Anna? Thank you. One more time. Okay, folks. Stick around. We'll be right back. If you reach for that remote, I will bite you. The KSM Show will be right back. The KSM Show.